If you have a bit of time on your hands to practice your golf, I think one of the best things you can do is to take your the three shortest clubs in your bag, go on the range and practice distance control. I'm talking about those shots under 80, 70 yards. They're difficult. But the good thing for you and for me is that most golfers just don't practice these distances. Um, let's say I have a 70 yard distance or the target 70 yards from me. Most golfers will use their vision and their feel to hit that distance. Okay, straight, but that's 13 yards too short. So, what you can do, and this is what I teach my students and it really works, is to take the three shortest clubs. The three clubs I've got are my sandwich 56, my gap wedge 52, and my pitching wedge is 48. And start with your shortest club. And obviously the first thing you need to do is to be able to connect the ball well every time. But I'm pretty sure you can do that. Oh, that's not my shortest club. That's my sandwich. Okay. And now, okay, so you've heard about swinging to, to, a bit, to a certain time, thinking about a clock, take your back, hands back to 9 o'clock or 10 o'clock, and then swinging the same distance through. Uh, that makes a lot of sense, but I don't find that easy to implement. Knowing where 10 o'clock is and 9, and 9 o'clock, that's, that's hard. So, rather, take your stance and try to make, and here it comes, make your backswing as short as you can. So you can't, um, the backswing can't be too short because then you're really gonna have to hit at the ball to get it a certain distance. So I try, and I'm thinking about the clock again, till about eight o'clock maximum. And I really, that's like, there's no ways that I can make a shorter backswing. So that's my shortest backswing. And the nice thing about that is that I, I, from there, I can accelerate almost as much as I want to. Okay, so I'll start with my sandwich. Now I'll tell you beforehand, using this method, I normally hit my little sandwich shots 40 yards. So let's see if I can do it under pressure. So I'm going to make my backswing as short as I possibly can and then I'm just going to um, really make a very decisive swing through the ball. And as you can see my distances are pretty consistent. And it's really nice that I can hit through the ball. Okay, so that was my uh, sandwich. So let's see what happens when I use exactly the same method for my gap wedge. I guess the idea is the same swing, the back swing as short as possible, a nice and and aggressive through the ball and I normally hit around 50 yards using that method okay so I, I hear you ask um, Vaughan should I think total distance that's a total distance or should I think carry? How far should my ball fly? Or do I want to um, hit the ball to a point where the ball lands? I think, especially if you're not experienced, just think total distance. Because the greens are so different, sometimes soft, sometimes hard. So just think total distance. Okay, so now I've got my pitching wedge. I'm going to do exactly the same, as short as I can. 
nice and decisive through the ball. And my distance with my pitching wedge is 60 yards. Oh, I top that again. Okay. I do swing slightly slower um, with this club because it is slightly longer. But as you can see, I more or less know what I'm doing when it comes to these uh, distances. This is something I'm practicing all winter and it's huge. You've got your laser, you get your distance and you're able to hit targets even though you're using a half swing. I hope that helps you and I really look forward to seeing you soon again. Thanks for visiting Golf Beginner World.